Next, uh, I will ask for the whole uh, list of uh, scholarship recipients to make it public. So that everybody will know there is no hanky panky. Or it can come Of course, uh, Tan Sri Isma was very correct and he said that, well, uh, this is uh, outside my province, there is no such uh, uh, powers. Uh, is, uh, unless there is clearance from the political superiors, because they cannot be higher than civil, civil service superiors, they must be the political superiors. So I hope tomorrow, when the cabinet meets, at least issue a directive, make public the details of the selection criteria for the scholarships. And number two, make public the full list of uh, the scholarship recipients and uh, their, their results, so that everyone can just check whether there's any hanky-panky, impropriety, and uh, I think it's very simple. I hope the camera can do such a basic thing. If even the camera cannot do such a very simple basic thing, this uh, cabinet is even worse than Mahathir's uh, condemnation of the Abdullah cabinet as the half past six cabinet. I don't know what half past is going to be. So, I mean, we are here today because of a specific problem. I, I, uh, I mean, there's something wrong with the whole scholarship system, and uh, Nick and uh, Tony has given you a lot of uh, uh, examples. I won't go into that. There's a need for a revamp, a total reform of the scholarship system. And, and I would advocate that the, uh, 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 there should be a parliamentary select committee, should be formed, headed by an opposition MP, no point having a uh, 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 BN MP, if you're a waste of time, in order to study and make recommendations for a total revamp of the scholarship system. But until then, we have to deal with this immediate problem of uh, easily four-figure numbers of uh, Malaysians uh, by uh, the best and the brightest of our generation feeling so frustrated, feeling so disappointed at being uh, unable to get JPA scholarships. You have MIC, MCA, Karakandi, they're saying uh, don't be disappointed, don't despair, there are other avenues, not at the end of life. And yes, so, but I think they don't understand. They don't understand the sense of frustration. It's not that uh, they, they, it's a disappointment from not getting uh, a scholarship. It's a sense of grievance and a sense of injustice. They are victims of injustice just about their enter, entering into the world, being a victim of injustice. And this is, a, this is something that is so uh, far reaching. And I think it will influence, it, it, will, be a, it will be a burning grievance for life. It will influence the whole outlook, the whole mindset. And that's why nation building has failed. It's because we each every year we 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 among the best and brightest instill in them a sense of great grievance that something is very ugly and wrong in this nation building. I mean, I think that's something somehow they don't seem to understand. Maybe, maybe that's because among other things among other things. We don't have uh, top scorers among our political leaders in government. We don't have top scorers in the civil service running the uh, scholarships. If they are top scorers, they will understand. Otherwise, how can someone with 14 A's and uh, uh, 13 A, A1's be equated with someone with 9 A1's? It's just unthinkable. Just unthinkable. You don't equate them as of the same level. You have to give certain, certain, certain credit for that. So I think the immediate solution must be, I mean, I, the, the, the cabinet must face this thing very, very friendly. If they want very people to believe that there is a new government, they are being serious about one pe uh, one Malaysia uh, people first and uh, perform performance now administration, they must uh, resolve this problem. And to resolve this problem, among other things, long term, revamp of the whole scholarship system, short term, immediate, is uh, able to, 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 to resolve the cases, hundreds of, uh, of them, maybe more than a, maybe in four figure, those people who feel that they are entitled, entitled to scholarship because others with, uh, with not so good results have got the scholarship. They feel therefore they are entitled to it. And I think they should be given. I would say that they should even on principle, those who die A ones, those who die A ones should be given scholarship. I 
don't think it's, it's right. I mean, they talk about getting appeal. Appeal, uh, deadline was supposed to be yesterday. And uh, on the 1st of June, they are going to announce the results of the appeal. I don't think we want a situation where those who have already been awarded scholarships, 6 A's or 7 A's, uh, being withdrawn. No, I don't think that's fair. We are going to, we are going to create new injustices after getting a scholarship being withdrawn. That will be wrong. So, without withdrawing those scholarships, I think they have, nonetheless, those every night A1 should be given scholarships. We were told yesterday that this year the scholarship uh, uh, 700 million, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the public service department is spending 700 million, 700 million ringgit on these scholarships. Well, I think raise it to 1 billion, another 300 million ringgit, and all the, all the Pakatan racket and members of parliament will support a sub supplementary estimate when the parliament meets uh, uh, next month to to increase this uh, scholarship budget to 1 billion ringgit so that all those who have been unfairly denied scholarship can get them. Correct? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's not meant to be worthwhile. I mean, we don't know one has this uh, uh, a bone of contention, creating among the best and the brightest a lifelong burning sense of grievance and injustice in the country. And this is that, and that's not we spending 300 million on extra scholarships instead of wasting them in financial scandals like the pop clan free zone scandal. <laughs> we are still waiting for the report. How much? 12 billion, 13 billion! That's all the what? F1.8 billion ringgit. With a promise that the government don't have to spend a single cent. It is going to be a private venture. It's going to be a self-financing or viable. Now it's going to end up as a 12 billion, 13 billion scandal with you and I having to bail it out. Anytime pay another 300 million to give our uh, uh, our top scholars their scholarship, isn't it? Then throwing money into the pop and free zone scandal. That's one. Number two. Number two, I think it's important that uh, the criteria should be announced. And uh, finally, there must be a serious revamp of the whole scholarship system in time for next year's introduction. And uh, so that the scholarship system uh, meant in order to create uh, create uh, uh, knowledgeable Malaysians in order to prepare Malaysia for a knowledge-based economy will not become a con continuing source of discord and, and, and division in the country. So I think we, we also have had this opportunity to hear what are your cases of what we view. Although the appeal ended uh, yesterday, we were given assurance that uh, we can still have to get uh, those uh, uh, new appeals through. So if any appeals, you better give to us quick and fast. Uh, because by the 1st of June, they are supposed to announce the results and we will try to help where we can. And we would like to see, we would like to go and see the, the minister involved and all the ministers involved. Why is this their promise that this year there will be uh, top scholars and top students will be given scholarships? Otherwise, it is a but betrayal has to be betrayed by the ministers themselves. <laughs> now it is not only the but of the students, it is a but by the cabinet. And I hope tomorrow. They will undo this to ensure that this the word used by uh, Nasri will be 